Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about how to create alerts for our matrix as well as for our activity log. And I can go to Azure Monitoring and go to the and I should be able to see here all the alerts if at all I have configured. If you see here, I have not configured any of the alerts. I have already configured. I should be able to see here all the alerts. The process of creating alerts are two options. One is either you just go to your matrix and select that specific metric where you wanted to create an alert or choose that for example i can go to uh, this specific vm example then we simply select that and maybe if it is going for cpu speed or average speed cpu speed and on top of it i can simply select here and create a new alert that will actually create an alert which is related to the matrix which we will be doing in a minute or so other type would be the activity logs um, you can directly select whatever the activity log you want to create as the alert let's say I wanted to create for if any time if something has been getting as activity like regeneration of storage account I wanted to get an alert click on new alert and follow the wizard to complete uh, this specific alert configuration similar method for the, even for the metrics but other one would be uh, you can directly go to the specific resource and create on your own alerts or simply go to the alerts and follow the uh, alert wizard this way actually you have to select that specific alert type and alert source let's say we know that uh, as of now the data source is basically here matrix or the logs right so now i should be able to uh, follow the wizard within this i should be able to select whether the alert should be on any of these source if when it is generated should i go for matrix or for the logs so this information you should be able to uh, get it so let's go to the wizard here new alert and the first thing would be i need to select the source of my resource so if you remember here the source is any type of the source it could be application or operating system or resource or subscription even in tenant or custom resource of which is supported by your rest apis and select the resource here and you can filter the way you want it let's say i wanted to select my subscription and then the filter as a resource type so i have all the resources here it is listed uh, it would be a very big and lengthy list because it talks about all type of resource types let's say i just want it for virtual machine i can simply select for that specific virtual machine and then it will filter automatically for you and it will give you the uh, filter and if you see here i have a different vms with a different location if i want i can do one more level of filter let's say i just wanted this alert to be triggered for my east years too so that gets filtered and select uh, that specific resource and click ok so now we are going to create a new alert for this specific resource for this virtual machine and now the condition comes so here uh, what you want to you know configure are the signaling method so as you know that signaling method would actually depends on your either matrix or from the activity log so let me um, if go further it actually shows the activity log also so basically you have here an option for signaling of any of these two let's say either metric or logs we selected here the resource as a source and then we need to choose whether you want this specific alert to be created for metrics or logs so let's decide that here let's say if the cpu percentage is higher i wanted um, uh, a specific event uh, to be you know, triggered or the rule should be signaling logic is based on my cpu percentage i can filter here uh, for the chart uh, for last one week so i can see here what's going on as the the specific aggregated value of my cpu let's say if we move here my cursor close to 20 percentage of uh, what the current uh, cpu spike was i can see on this graph and so and so date so if i assume that uh, let's say uh, there is a critical alert which is spiking more than 25 percentage and then you can give here as that specific value and uh, 
if it is uh, coming as a 25 percent of the threshold value from uh, again here thresholds are static and dynamic so dynamic will have the advanced level configuration let's have a look on static so within the static you have a operation of greater than or equivalent uh, of average value of 25 percentage greater than that then you would you what we're gonna do so we are gonna base down the value of the aggregative of um, value of the five minutes uh, every five minutes uh, of the granular t and you can configure the evolution of the f uh, every five minutes of the frequency and you are actually getting an alert based on that so let's uh, configure even the dynamics so these values for the operator will be the same but um, you do have here an option for as the advanced settings this is where you can ignore a specific timing uh, if you expect that uh, there would be a spike between that specific operation time and date you can ignore or you can uh, number of violations greater than that then only trigger such kind of you know configurations can be done so let's click on done value so anything which is coming uh, post to that as a 20 percentage and then so so far what we have done is we selected the scope of that resource what of the resource are are the source and then the we filtered or we try to trigger alert based on the activity logs or the logs or maybe a matrix um, that's what we have done so here within the resource and the condition with that specific to the log and now the final step or close to the final step would be the action group so action groups will contain more about the integration of that party so you need to create here let's say if i create a new action group called here let's say uh, i can give here as the notify my Azure admin and the short description of the notify is user I have selected and then I'm going to actually create a resource group that's going to create here to be created like a default log analytics alert or whatever the resource group you are you have so you can select that for example all demos is my resource group within that now I'm going to call here my action name let's say I want to send for SMS example so here action type would be here you want to you know send and uh, receive these emails or sms or push voice or itsm so what happens is you need to you know, configure if you choose as itsm so you need to do that integration uh, connection so you need to install itsm uh, solution connection and then the tickets would be automatically triggered so what we are trying to do is if you just uh, remember here we are trying to create a rule uh, or the alert rule which will trigger on a specific resource and when that specific threshold has been triggered or reached or alert has been or the log information is populating we are actually here uh, doing a action like sending a uh, sending to your itsm so that it, the ticket gets created or maybe a uh, sends an email or sms or maybe you would be calling some azure function or for that matter maybe you're running some kind of automation run book so that it triggers some script or it goes and it does that uh, automation job for you automatically and also you can call logical apps securing webhook or webhook can be triggered all these are the different actions that can be done let's say i want to you know set an alert as the email i can give you my email like my uh, company email id maybe as your admin at my it's a company name.com and my sms uh, so i would get an alert uh, to my phone as the sms and also voice messages uh, you can pre-record your voice and you can send as a voice call information also so all these options you have within this so let's click on ok once you have done that and uh, it's actually creates a, a rule for you with that specific group a later point you are gonna create a rule uh, with a specific uh, to the rule name let's say if you remember you know when we begin here there was nothing here because we what we have done is we tried to uh, went to the alert and created a new alert but there was no alert so to get these alerts or to create this we followed this method new alert rule and finally we have selected the resource conditions also the resource groups also we have selected but we have not named for this alert 
whatever the name to be know it should be given let's say this is for my VM uh, CPU spike uh, and simply give this and uh, whatever the uh, save alert on a resource group name maybe I just wanted to put it into all my demos of uh, VM so and what is the criticality of this um, or the severity of your alert let's say if this has been triggered it will actually show you within this as the number of events or the alerts has been triggered so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually select here as maybe this is sev3 simply enable for creation and then it's going to actually create a rule and in a minute or so it's actually going to show me here as that specific rule now the notification has been created here rule and if i just go here and refresh i should be able to see one at least so manage alerts rules as a one and if i just click on here and the rules so this would show me my existing rules you see here so this is a rule what would happen is within this rule we have selected the resources and the condition and action group which will send an email or other information so we give the short uh, name with this name uh, let's say if this is the email so it's gonna actually uh, come as a subject notify AC Azure and to this admins uh, it's gonna send the configuration like you know email or it's gonna send the SMS with the subject short name it's gonna do these kind of alerting mechanism will work I put in some uh, server uh, load on a CPU uh, this is one of my virtual machine and I just put this uh, heavy load on my CPU so it's currently going so I may get an alert soon I should be able to get the alert and trigger an email also with respect to that you can check out here now the alert has been triggered in a minute and you see here it has been spiked as your monitor alert has been spiked uh, with the CPU spike again as so and so triggered and the rule and all other information has been came and I got this as the email to me now it's time for me to check from the Azure portal too within Microsoft Azure portal under monitoring under alerts now you you able to see here the alert what it is started uh, for example the sev3 one which we triggered and you can check out you know what happened and this is fight and uh, the status is currently new that means nobody is working and let's say you have a team who wants to closely working on it or monitoring so you can simply select it and um, you can say change the status with uh, instead of the new you can say acknowledged and uh, how are you working on this alert example so you can give whatever the comment so that you will get that entire information uh, will be logged here as the technology so that other team members knows that hey somebody is working on it and if they simply click on it they would actually get the entire history of that if they just go here once alert has fired and notified uh, with the admins that is especially or the email as well as the SMS has been sent and the status changed by Mr. Paddy uh, with the comments whatever they have given here this is that you know I'm working on it so this information gets locked so that we know that you know what's going on this I have also got my alert on my mobile uh, and have actually done the changes uh, I got this alert as well as this is the CPU spike specific alert also triggered on mobile as an SMS. So this is how it works the alerting concept. I'll go to the last uh, topic uh, within this lecture about Azure monitoring service limits. So within this uh, since these are specific to the aggregated values and the number of um, alerts that you get it and uh, which are sending as the SMS or email there's a limit on all of them you cannot send more than a specific number of emails or a number of SMS let's say emails up to 1000 email notifications uh, can be sent to an email address and similarly SMS can be sent up to 10 for SMS notification to your phone number and the push number uh, would be a 10 uh, which is uh, which can be sent and uh, these kind of you know configurations are have a limitation you can check out this documentation on the uh, with respect to the limitations that are available on alerts specific to the action groups 
I will be sharing this link information within the lecture under resource section. Please do check out that. Here is a quick uh, recap about what we have discussed so far. Firstly, we understand about the Azure monitoring and we have number of uh, sources which are coming the data and we looked into uh, see different things about metrics and the log information and we wanted uh, to do something about that uh, of the data which is coming out and the error there's a way we created alerts um, coming to the play and we tried uh, to create different alerts and we know that we can monitor uh, two different types of signals um, either it could be a matrix information or activity log information and these are uh, either activity or metrics uh, logs either you can go and create or pull out directly from a specific resources or you can directly go to the alerts and try to filter based on whatever the alert is triggering and based on that you can create uh, the specific alerts and that alert can trigger uh, when actually that specific activity log initiated or metrics has been triggered so that you get either email or it can even configure uh, to integrate uh, to get a SMS or a different alert mechanism that should happen so oh, once it is triggered you get actually this kind of a dashboard where you would be working on that specific uh, severity or whatever the ticket it got uh, generated and you can uh, find which engineer is working and what's the current status of that I hope this lecture is useful for you. Thank you for watching this. We'll catch you in the next lecture on specific to the log analytics services.